you've been looking for an affordable family RV with double over double bunks, a super slide, and one that you can get to everything when the slide's in, well, I got one right here for you. This is the Coleman Lantern LT 262BH. Alright, so a couple quick things about the 262BH. One of the things I really like, and Coleman does this in a lot of floor plans, is actually right up here. Now, I personally would have liked a drawer, but bam, look at that, you get a trash can. I love, love, love when manufacturers have a spot for a trash can. Again, the tip out isn't, you know, quite my favorite. I would have preferred a drawer just so the trash can stays upright. Uh, but the fact that they have a special spot just for the trash can in my mind is a huge win already. You walk in, you have that. Also, take a look at this. They have a cutout where you can store some shoes. Not a ton, but you know, you can fit three, four pair there. That's a big deal. That way it's not cluttering up this main area as you walk in. The kitchen has plenty of countertop space too. I mean, you get good prep space right here. You have a black composite sink. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. You know, I, I know stainless a lot of times scratch is really easy. This isn't supposed to scratch as easily, but uh, you know, you can, you can definitely see some, if you have hard water, um, you're definitely gonna see it because it's black. But they do give you a high-rise faucet. The sink is pretty large, so at least uh, wash and rinsing dishes should be fairly easy. I do like the backsplash. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be real tile in, in this price point, uh, but I like the design. You have a big window there, too, which lets in a ton of natural light to your kitchen, which is always great when you're cooking. Electrical outlet and USB ports there, too. And uh, because we are in a conventional build, they don't have to put them under the cabinets. They're able to put them right in the wall like that, which is really nice. Storage all the way across the top. And again, I enjoy the glass insert rather than having the wood panel. I think it helps break things up a little bit. Microwave, you have your uh, range right underneath that. And then the three burner cooktop. You have the Greystone suite of appliances. All of them are Greystone products. You can see uh, the oven there. I personally, um, I, I do like some of the other cooktops a little bit better than Greystone. It's just a personal preference. Not that it, it's any better or worse. Um, I just, I think the Furion just feels a little bit better. But, you know, again, as far as cooking and controlling temps, they're all pretty much going to be the same. If we take a look in the center at our drawer size, look at that. Nice full extension ball bearing drawers. This one's obviously a little bit shallower, but it's perfect for your flatware. Then you have a couple deep drawers right down underneath. I really like that. And even though we have space for a trash can, a dedicated spot there, if you want a bigger one or just, you know, a big open spot for pots and pans, you have room for that too. Making right back a little bit further, we get into the Everchill fridge freezer combo. I currently turned this one off because we're running on a battery box, but this is a 12-volt uh, a unit, which will run on your batteries, which is fantastic. That way, if you are out, you know, doing a little bit of um, off-grid camping, you know, you're able to run this just off the batteries, get a little solar. It does a uh, pretty wonderful job. When we open this up, again, this is more storage here. Uh, you can use this for pantry, but chances are you're probably going to use it for the kids' clothes. At least that's what I would use it for. Um, but if you need it for storage for foodstuffs, you can certainly do that too. Right underneath is your uh, breaker panel as well as your fuse box. And then in the corner are the double over double bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on these USB ports so the kiddos can sit in there and you know be on their iPad if it's a rainy day. And right here underneath, you can see the storage. Um, the back storage is a little tough to reach. I, I am glad they opened it up to give you the options. It used to just be this front one here. Um, but you know, that, that front storage spot is great for, like if you have like a duffel bag, something like that, you can tuck it right in there. Making our way to the bathroom here. You wanna hold that open. Uh, sitting on the toilet, it, it's a little tight on the knees, not, you know, not awful. Um, plenty of shoulder space though. You can see the cutout right here on the countertop, storage underneath that. You have a mirror, and as far as the shower, I will take a step in here at six foot tall. You see, I do have space. You can probably be six one and still be able to stand up right any taller than that. You might have to duck down a little bit. Uh, you have the just the shower curtain right there. And, you know, it probably will make a little bit of a mess just because of the nature of a curtain and a shower. So you're probably going to want to put a towel down uh, when you're done showering. 
Making our way right back out here, you can see our uh, thermostat there as well as the water heater. This one does have the Furion on-demand water heater, which is great. So when we do talk about the shower, you're able to spend a lot of time in there if uh, you so choose because of that instant uh, on-demand hot water. And then in the super slide, kind of like you would expect, we have our standard dinette that does drop down into a bed. And then right over to the side here is our sofa. This, by nature, is a uh, jackknife-style sofa, so it has a handle, which is kind of convenient, but the nice thing about the jackknife is all the storage you get underneath. Where this one differs a little bit is it is an incliner, which means the back doesn't drop down, but you do have a spot for your feet to pop up, so that way when you're sitting here watching TV, you can at least get your feet up, which is kind of nice. The entertainment center itself is a pretty big space for a TV. Uh, some manufacturers will try to frame it out, but then it kind of limits the size of your TV. This is a, a pretty good area. So if you're looking for a unit where you can have one, uh, like I say, a pretty large TV there. You also have some storage underneath. Your basically car radio is what they use in this one, which is fine, right? It does the trick. Um, lets you, you know, listen to some music. We already talked about the shoe storage underneath and then a, uh, some additional storage right there if you want like a movie collection or something of that nature. And then when we come into the bedroom, you have dual pocket doors. That's a, that's a big one, having the pocket doors on here rather than curtains. Just gives you that kind of little more sense of uh, privacy. And then I do like what they've done with the bed itself. Queen bed in the center. You can see on both sides, you have big nightstands. Uh, I really enjoy that, especially the tops right here too. So if you have a CPAP machine or something like that, you have a spot to put it. Electrical outlet course we have storage on both sides we have hanging rods another shelf across the top and if you want an additional tv in the bedroom there are hookups on the other wall right over there on the ceiling so you can have a tv in here as well this one gets a nearly perfect score because you can kind of access everything so you do have easy access to the bedroom getting around the kitchen here into the refrigerator is not a problem plenty of space there the refrigerator does open up completely obviously you can get to the freezer the reason it doesn't get a perfect score is because of the bathroom while they did design it so the door clears the slide good on them it's not a lot of space you really have to <laughs> Ooh, i need to eat less ice cream Ugh. but it is manageable All right, let's take a look at some of the features on the outside of the 2023 Coleman Lantern LT262BH. Starting off right up front with the power tongue jack, just makes it a little bit easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Of course, we have our uh, 220 pound propane tanks with the cover rails for your battery. And you'll also see solar prep right up front there. So if you want solar, you can simply buy like the suitcase style uh, solar packs that come with the controller, plug it in right there and it will trickle charge. Coming around to the side is our pass-through storage. You'll see it's a magnetic catch, which is great. And take a look at that pass-through storage. I mean, that is really good storage there, excellent space. You'll also notice right over here, you have the TPMS prep or tire pressure monitoring system prep, which is a big win. And then if we take a look right over there, you will also see inverter prep. So not only can you have that tire pressure to get that peace of mind, but again, that solar with that inverter, some of those outlets in there were pre-wired. Uh, for that inverter so that way if you have it installed you are good to go you don't have to rewire anything which is huge you also see up top the power awning with led light strip and because we don't have a slide out on the campsite you get great camp space right here you can have the electrical outlet so you can plug in your blender whatever else you need the speakers uh, those are controlled by that unit inside that we saw fresh water inlet is right here this is uh, one of them that i'm not uh, you know, super in love with. At least it's not city water, but I do prefer when my water connections are on the off camp side, just in case you have to fill up, you know, you're not gonna uh, spill anything in the campsite itself. Make our way back a little bit further. I do wanna show that this has your power stabilizer jacks. Um, the front or the back control here operates the rear two. The front control, of course, operates the front two. Square tubular bumper with an end cap gives you a convenient spot to store that sewer hose. And then this right here, is the on-demand water heater I had mentioned when we were inside. 
Coming around to the off camp side, you will see right down here are your terminations. Black and gray tank. I do like that they're uh, pretty close to the unit, so it gives you a little more ground clearance. Your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right into there. And lastly, right up front are the rest of your hookups. So you can see your city water inlet will be right there as well as uh, electrical outlet, plus you have a spray port, so if you want some outside water access, you have it. Again, folks, the 262BH, honestly, is a great family RV. Uh, it's got a really good price point on it, especially for all the amenities you're getting, like that super slide in there, the double over double bunks. If you're looking for something to be able to get out and start camping, you gotta make sure you check out the Coleman Lantern 262BH. If you're looking for price and availability, you can find that, you'll find a link in the description. Just click on that, it'll give you availability nearest to you. And until next time, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you.